Hey everyone and welcome back to Diablo Flamenco. In this video we're going to take a look at the picado technique, starting from an introductory basic level and working up to more advanced styles of using the picado for your flamenco music. So let's go ahead and get started. Some of you may have done picado already in your either classical or flamenco guitar studies, but I am going to just cover very briefly how this technique works and we're going to move into how I recommend practicing picado, and we'll also do a few exercises as well. Picado is alternating our index and middle finger to play melodies or scales. So for example, anything. Anything you hear like this in a flamenco piece is picado, where I'm alternating these two fingers to play notes. So we primarily use index middle, some guitarists use combinations of other fingers, but I recommend starting index and middle, and that's what we're going to cover in this video. So to play picado, we are going to take the thumb of our strumming picking hand, in this case my right hand, I'm going to plant my thumb on the sixth string of the guitar, and then I'm going to start by placing my index on the first string of the guitar. Now, picado uses apoyando strokes, and apoyando means to rest. So after I play the string, I'm gonna pull my index down towards the top of the guitar, and it allows me to play the string. And you'll see that my index is now touching the B string, the string adjacent to the string I just played. So that is why this is called a rest stroke, because I play the string and it rests on the next string. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the middle finger. I'm going to put the middle down on the first string and also push down towards the top. And now my middle finger was resting on the B string as an apoyando or a rest stroke. And we can alternate these to play picado. Now, notice how I am actually cutting the notes off here. One way you could practice is to let the notes ring. So, for example, that was just going index metal and letting them ring. You could practice that, but I do recommend playing staccato, which means to cut a note value short. So once I play my index, my middle is going to touch the first string to cut off the note on purpose. And the reason why we're going to practice this is because this will help with the development of speed and control of your picado. Because one of the things that we want to do as flamenco guitarists is, I know that everyone wants to be like Paco de Lucia, right? Everyone wants to play fast picado and fast scales or fast melodies. So this concept is preparing you to move faster because it is prepping our fingers to move faster by planting onto the next note. So we're going to practice that. So we're gonna get into our position here. Now when I play my index, the middle finger will plant down. Now if I play the middle finger, see how my index moved up and planted on the first string that time. So just moving back and forth, like this. Go very slow at first and just practice how this feels. So there's a sort of crisscross movement between the index and middle fingers because we are planting. So one more time, very slowly, starting with the index, and my middle plants. Now if I play the middle finger, my index moves up and plants. Index, middle plants, middle plays, index plants. That is how I want you to practice the picado. Now, if you, for your first exercises, if you're brand new to picado, we're gonna start with two notes on each string, and we're gonna move up. So for example, So this is the 
first exercise. You can either do two notes, you can also do four notes if you want to add more time to it to think about your switches. The reason why we start with this is because every time we play a string, it's the same combination. In this case, it's always index middle. Or if you want to do four notes, it would be index middle, index middle. And then we switch, index middle, index middle. So it repeats each time that you play. When we play an odd number of notes on each string, this is the next step. This is where we work on alternation, which is very important when studying picado because we do not want to repeat a finger most times. Now there are exceptions to this, and I will admit that there are exceptions. Some people say you absolutely have to alternate. Yes and no. Yes, it's very important to alternate, and I recommend you do get good at it, but you might notice there are times where you will want to alternate your fingers. So now let's talk about the three note exercise. about using picado for an odd number of notes on a string. So in this case we're going to do three notes of string open string exercises like we did previously. So in this case I'm going to start with my fingers on the first string of the guitar and I'm going to play three notes. In this case I'm going to start with my index so it's going to go index, middle, and index. Index, middle, index. Now what we don't want to do is to drag this finger back and play index, middle, index again. Now, like I said, in a real-world setting, you might want to do this once in a while if the finger combination is smoother to repeat one finger. However, I don't want you to get into this habit. So, we're going to go index, middle, index. Now, for the B string, we want to go middle, index, middle. So, I'm always repeating the pattern, but switching the fingers. So, it's still three notes on each string. It's still picado, but first time is index, middle, index, or I, M, I, if we want to use the alternating letters. And the second string, it's middle, index, middle, or M, I, M. And I'm going to do this on every string with alternating. So each string, we're switching the finger that we start on. So if we start, we go index, middle, index. B string would be middle, index, middle. G string would be index, middle, index. D string is middle, index, middle. A string is index, middle, index. And the sixth string is middle, index, middle. And of course you can go back down again if you want back to the first string. So this is working our alternation. So that will look and sound like this. on your first picado exercise with developing your picado. Now one thing I do want to add that makes picado easier is what we do with our hand as we move up. A lot of people when they begin, they're still here, my thumb is still on the A string, and I don't lift it until here. That's a uh, a thing that a lot of beginners do when they start doing picado. What I want you to get in the habit of is lifting the hand before that. So what I mean, when I play my D string, then I lift and continue from there. Now when I go back down, when I play the G or B string, my thumb then plants again. Now we don't want to lift from the shoulder like this, which would look like this if I tried to do that. You see how cramped up I look. What we want to do instead is think of it as moving this way. So the arm is moving back, like a rotation. And this makes this concept much easier. back the way I came, and now the arm is rotating back this way like it was normally. 
So that is how we want to practice doing higado with the arms so we alleviate tension and make it more ergonomic for our playing. Now we're going to talk about how to develop speed with the picado technique. And we're going to do a very simple open string exercise. And what we're going to practice are speed bursts. So what I mean by that is we're going to take the exercise that we first looked at, which is playing on the first string and working on the staccato movement. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by playing very slowly. And I'm going to add in randomly a burst of notes. So the exercise will sound like this. I started slowly and then I threw in a four note burst within the picado. That is how we're going to start by developing speed in a gradual way. So we're going to plant our hand, get into our picado position. We're going to start by playing our picado. You can start with either index or middle. I do recommend trying both to develop independence of where you're starting. In my case, I'm going to start with index for simplicity of teaching for a beginner. And we're going to start by playing very slowly index, middle, back and forth. And when you're ready, you're going to throw in a faster four note burst. And then back into the slow staccato version. So. the easiest thing to do. However, this is a nice easy way to practice speed development without worrying about what your left hand is doing. In this case, we're only focusing on the development of the right hand, how we prep the hand, how we plant onto the guitar, and that's going to carry over into any future exercise that we do, as well as any melodic falsetta or anything within your flamenco music. that's a little more advanced and we're going to add in our left hands in this case and this is a variation of a chromatic type scale but we're going to move up and down the neck of the guitar and this is an exercise from one of my teachers in Spain that I use every day when practicing and it focuses on the picado technique but also shifting of the left hand and getting a good left hand position so how this works is we're going to go one, two, three, four on the first string. So you can do index, middle, index, middle. Now from here, I'm going to shift down one fret. And we're going to do the same thing on the B string, but now instead of on the first, second, third, fourth fret, now I'm on second, third, fourth, and fifth. So from the beginning. Sounds like this. So it's almost like a spider crawl exercise if you've ever done one of those before. So we start with first string, one, two, three, four. Shift, second, third, fourth, and fifth fret on the B string. Now same thing, we're gonna go back to the first string but also shift down again. Now I'm on the third fret. And then back to the B, shift again. And we're gonna do this up and down the whole neck. So we're going to do it very slowly. Up to the 12th fret. So I'm at 12th 
12. From here, we can actually go back down. It's the same idea. I'm gonna go four, three, two, one. So starting with that 12th fret again. Now I'm gonna shift, and now my pinky's gonna play 11. I'm on the B string again. And we're gonna keep going from here. This is a great exercise for left hand development as well, on top of doing your picado and making sure that you are alternating. So I'm gonna go through the exercise again one more time, slowly, follow along with me. In this case, we're just doing the first and the second string. So here we go, starting on first fret, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and start shifting. exercise. Now, my tip for doing exercises like this is to play your picado hard. Let it ring out, add some strength, and get those muscles working in your fingers. For example. And you can also do bursts with this one. For example. So there, same idea. I was just going down the same way we went, but with a burst. You can add your own variations and get creative with these picado exercises. But do all of these and you will start developing your picado in an easier way. I hope you enjoyed advancing your picado technique with me. Stay tuned for next episodes where we'll do more technique and falsetta videos, and I hope to see you there. Hasta luego.